Uh, welcome or come back on any help at C squared. In this example, we need to determine which segment is shortest in the following diagram. So, which of these segments, AC, AB, BC, AD, or BD, is shortest? And for that reason, we're going to use this triangle inequality theorem. And we're going to look, we use that theorem in two triangles in the triangle ABC first, and then in the triangle ABD. So, in order to use this uh, theorem, we need to find all the angles. So first of all, I'm going to look to how much this angle C is. And if you remember, the sum of the interior angle of a triangle is 180. So I'm going to write here 110, which is the measure of angle CAB, plus uh, 32, which is the measure of angle ABC, plus the measure of angle C, is 180. I can combine 110 and 32, that is 142, uh, plus the measure of angle C equals 180, subtract 142, and I have 38 degrees. So this angle here is 38 degree, and now I can look to this angle and see which side is the shortest. And how can I do that? I'm looking to angles. So this angle is 32, which, which is the smallest in this triangle. That means AC, the opposite side, is the shortest. Then the next one, the next angle is 38. That means the next side in this uh, inequality will be AB. And the longest side in this triangle will be the one that goes to 110, which is BC. Now we finish with triangle ABC, we're going to move to the next triangle, triangle ABD. ABD. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to find this angle, angle BAD. And how am I going to do? The same like here, the sum of the interior angle of an angle of a triangle is 180. So I'm going to have 114, which is the measure of angle ABD, plus uh, 30 degree, which is the measure of angle D, plus the measure of angles BAD equals 180. We can combine 114 and 30, that will be 144 plus the measure of angle BAD equals 180 and now we can find the measure of angle BAD by subtracting 144 so that will be 36 degree this angle here is 36 degrees so now we can use this triangle inequality theorem for this triangle and we notice this is the smallest angle so the shortest side will be AB Then the next side will be the one that goes of 36, right? That is BD. And the largest side is going to be the one that goes of 114, which is AD. And now the only thing we have to do is to combine these two inequalities. Take a look which arm is the shortest by comparing these two inequalities. And in fact, if you take a look here, we can connect these two inequalities using this first part. AC is less than AB. AC is less than AB. So now looking here, we know that the shortest side is AC. AC is the shortest. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.